My name is David. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a Microsoft Developers account with DreamSpark. Our first step we need to do is create a Windows Live Hotmail account if you do not have one. If you do, you can skip these following steps and just continue on. I'll be fast forwarding these parts so you won't be able to see my details, etc. So continue on and finish up the sign up and continue through all this stuff. And after that, we will have our Hotmail account. From now, step two, we'll need to go to this following link, DreamSpark, and it'll bring you to a Windows Phone 8 app development website. And in that website, we'll be creating a new account and this new account will be hooking up our Hotmail with this and then with this we'll hook it up with DreamSpark. It's hard to understand but you'll see. So what we need to do right now is look at the website, read the following details, and then you come to number three and you'll see something about click on a button that says map your account. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to find this button called map your account. And it should be above all this text so I passed it a while back. It's going to scroll up back here. And it's just this map, map now button with a little arrow on the side. It's going to click on that and it will bring us to this. And we do not have a DreamSpark account. So we'll just click continue. I've been through this step before and I clicked I did have a DreamSpark account and tried using my Humber DreamSpark account and it did not work. So please use this new method. So from here, it'll ask you to create a new account. So what you want to do is enter your information in. I just use my same Hotmail email so I won't get confused. You can use whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to fast forward this part if I can. Don't know how long this is going to take, so let's see how it goes. Oh, well, it wasn't that long, so didn't really need to fast forward. <clears throat> so once you click complete, it will bring you to a blank page. And in this blank page, if it doesn't load anything, it doesn't mean your computer is broken. It sends you an email, as you can see when I figure out that I have an email. You click on the email and it will tell you the following information you need to follow to verify your account. And this will verify your DreamSpark account. So you will want to click on the link they gave you. And it says, go to software catalog. Just read all the information if you want. And then, blah, blah, blah. And click on the link. And it tells you to choose any of the software that you want. And well, I chose Visual Studio 2012. So you choose your operating system and then you get get verified. This is one of the major procedures you must do in order to get your account to work. So you click on your Hotmail and I thought this page was broken but it really wasn't. It just took a long time to load. So you really don't need to click on your Hotmail. You want to click uh, get verified through my school. So since we're in Humber, we search Humber College. And there's two that popped up. I chose the second one because it's Toronto, Ontario. I click continue. So here it says enter your email address. This is your Humber email you want to enter in. If you enter in a non-Humber email, it will deny your verify verification. So once you enter in your Humber email, it will send an activation email 
to your Humber email. So you want to go in there and look for it. In here, it'll say an activation information like you always get when you sign up. So click on the link. And it'll say, congratulations, blah, 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 blah. You've been verified. So that means you verified your DreamSpark account. Now that, that means once you got that verified, your Hotmail is hooked up to your DreamSpark account. And now the final procedure you need to do is step three, which is creating a Windows phone, like registering on a Windows phone development website. So they have their own Windows Phone Development Center website. I'll link all these links in the description and you can just follow along there. When you go to this website, you go to Windows Phone Development Center. You want to click on that button and then it will lead you to a separate page. From here you want to click on Submit App. When you click on that you sign in with your Hotmail that you linked up with your DreamSpark account. So I'll do that and click Sign In. From here what you want to do is click Join Now. This will just tell you all the information, blah, blah, blah. You got to pay a $99 US dollar fee, blah, blah, blah. So click Join Now, and then you choose your country. And then you want to choose individual or student. And as it says on the bottom, it says you're using this DreamSpark student account. And you want to agree, and you want to click Next. From here, you want to fill in your contact information for your development account. But I'm going to fast forward all that and I'm uh, going to show you what the next screen looks like, which is uh, purchase subscription. And you want to say, I am a student, because you don't want to pay that $100 fee. So you want to click next. And from here, it will say you're registered. And it will send you like three emails after this but I didn't get it until like five minutes later. And this just tells you that you're completely done. You can upload apps, do whatever you want with your developer's account. So this is what the dashboard looks like. And you can click on submit apps, I think. Yes, I click on submit apps and click app information. And it will tell you to enter your following details but you cannot sell your game using your DreamSpark account. What, that is one of the rules that we read, should have read along the way. But thank you for watching my tutorial and hope you become successful.